This is episode two. We're looking at Radio New Zealand National and um, uh, to what extent are they operating a colour bar on the radio that uh, European broadcasters and the white folk uh, only get to broadcast and um, Maori and brown people and Asians and so forth don't. They're listening to uh, the 9 to Noon show. Uh, we've already done um, what we can uh, from the other episode, so now we go to uh, Wednesday. You see there, um, I've put in the gender as well, uh, just for a reference. Um, Hone Harawera there, we have uh, Australians. Brits, the radio play, she puts on an accent, um, an American, that was all on the Wednesday, Thursday... Uh, yeah, I think French. French, British, uh, a lot of British radio plays, again, uh, Australian. Couldn't work it out, Australian, New Zealand. Um, so a fair amount, I'd say about um, a third to 40% maybe. Here's in Norwich, great to talk to you, how are you? I'm very well. Good evening. Good, good, good morning. Good morning. And if you look at America, people like the rest of them before the Turkish side of Gallipoli. He rode it too fast. Motorbike? ...and um, more concerns about... He makes he makes yeah. the songs his own. He yeah. makes the four hours has been a long... Is it the Isn't this cutie... Th- okay. Friday. Charles Bradley's cover of... And the irony is, of course, there's all these white voices... And there she is playing black music all the time. I mean, that, that's, that's, that's the juxtapose for you. So this is Friday. So that's uh, 2012. Anyway, the results for the week. Um, well, there's 47. There was basically about 50 voices on. Uh, 14 of them um, British, uh, 6 of them other. The interesting thing is, uh, that is a high percentage, is it not? A high percentage. The interesting thing is that uh, 2 of them were people of colour, shall we say, and all the rest of them, all the rest of them, um, were white people, as far as I could tell. All of them were, were European or white white people, all of them, except for this Nigerian guy, and he was only on there because he had won a BAFTA, I think, and had a sort of British accent as well. Uh, so I'm going to count him in, in here as well as the UK column. And this other guy here, that's Hone Harawera, basically the Malcolm X of New Zealand. And he was only on there, I think, because it was uh, Kim.com, and that was a big news thing of the day. So that's two out of uh, 47, say, call it two out of 50. Four percent. So that's the data, and that's pretty typical of a normal weekday for uh, the night to noon show, and indicative indeed of Radio New Zealand's programming as a whole, or should I say, Radio Rhodesia National.